Judging from Donald Trump's posts on Truth Social this week, it's pretty obvious that his new year has not gotten off to a very good start and that he is increasingly becoming more unstable as he tries to mentally process the horrible year that lies ahead of him. Trump got on Truth Social on Monday, New Year's Day, after of course he had his evening hanging out with Alina Haba and Vanilla Ice. Um, and a Ninja Turtle was there as well at Mar-a-Lago with this party. Um, anyway, Trump got on truth social on Monday and launched a new conspiracy theory that he's been tinkering with for a while, but he is now ready to unveil the full thing to the public that he claims will somehow exonerate him. If only of course he could prove it, which he can't. Here's what Trump said on truth social. Why did American disaster Liz Cheney, who suffers from TDS, Trump derangement syndrome, and was defeated for Congress by the largest margin for a sitting congressman or congresswoman in the history of our country, that's not true, illegally delete and destroy most of the evidence and related items from the January 6th Committee of Political Thugs and Misfits. This act of extreme sabotage makes it impossible for my lawyers to properly prepare for and present a proper defense of their client, me. All of the information on crazy Nancy Pelosi turning down 10,000 soldiers that I offered to guard the Capitol building and beyond is gone. The ridiculous deranged Jack Smith case on immunity, which the most respected legal minds in the country say I am fully entitled to, is now completely compromised and should be thrown out and terminated just like the radical left lunatics did to the evidence. Oh boy, those are definitely some thoughts, right? <laughs> Unfortunately, none of them rooted in reality. So <laughs> let's kind of take this point by point. Illegally delete and destroy most of the evidence from the January 6th select committee. That that's simply not true. Like that, that just didn't happen. The problem is you can't prove that it didn't happen. Just like he can't prove of course that it did happen. All we know is that the evidence of course was turned over. It is in the congressional record. So it's, it's there, but was something deleted? You, you technically cannot prove that it's not, which is why it's actually, uh, you know, a pretty good conspiracy theory for Trump because he knows it cannot technically be proven wrong. But he says that because of this, his lawyers obviously can't prepare for the cases against him which again is not true. They've been given all of the relevant information. They've been given the, the security clearances to view some of this information. The 10,000 soldiers claim that he offered Nancy Pelosi. Um, she didn't turn it down. Like that never happened, you know, and you, by the way, cannot prove that it did happen. Just like you can't prove that evidence was deleted, but you throw these things out here to try to convince your base that somehow, some way there is this grand conspiracy that apparently involves both Republicans and Democrats to delete evidence, to deny your lawyers evidence and to sabotage your legal defense. The only thing sabotaging your legal defense right now, buddy, is you and your words and your post on truth social, along with of course, your very incompetent legal team but none of these other things happened. But again, the problem we have is that you're trying to prove a negative, which you can't technically do. So Trump's going to keep saying stupid things like this, that he knows we can't prove wrong with evidence because there's no evidence that it even happened. So he's going to keep saying it. The base is going to keep believing it. And all he's doing is planting the seeds for them to basically not buy into any of the convictions that could be coming towards him later this year. Hi everyone. This here is little Athena and Athena would like to know why you haven't subscribed to fair and balanced yet. So please don't let Athena down subscribe today.